tell you the energy I felt right off. Uh, someone's been avoiding something. And Spirit literally told me before I can start your reading after Cancers that I had to sage the cards. So all my cards that we're going to use are over here. Because there is a not good energy either in your state or um, possibly in your person's. Uh, not absolutely sure. But Spirit does not like the energy. And so... They wanted me to, to uh, cleanse the cards to make sure that you get a full uh, definite reading. Alright, Spirit. Well, for Capricorn, please. this ten of cups this, this love yeah that's what it is all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and shuffle out and deal out all your cards and I will fast forward it so it doesn't take so long in the video um, and then you can still see it at the same time and I'll be right back you got this up here which is saying you know you see someone as your your person you see someone as your happiness um, and spirit is kind of saying what they just said to me was that there's someone in your energy and whoever this person is you need to check and make sure it's really your person or it because I keep hearing the word ego um, because someone is standing in their ego instead of seeing you know true love which is I'm gonna love you no matter what whether you're with me or you're not someone is going with the, this is my wish fulfillment I've put in all of this work and I'm gonna I'm going to have this situation and I'm gonna control it however it needs to turn out but it's gonna go the way that I want it to because I'm the one that's in control um, I'm the one who is the one who's making the choices which with this reading obviously you're not okay I'm I'm not trying to say that in a mean way but spirit saying it's time for a wake-up call because you're putting too much on self Instead of trusting in the divine, you know, because here everything is saying, you know, you're, well, I mean, the things that I've seen, I haven't looked at all these cards yet, but, um, it looks like you're trying to make decisions, but you're not making decision based off of love. It's more of... I've worked really hard for this and this is what I'm going to have and you know because you may have felt like this was going to be your place like you know you it's like you got hurt and then you decided okay well this is gonna be my new home spirit said but 
spirit is saying you got to let go of controlling everything. You got to stop being in this energy of I'm looking at this for this reason. Um, because I've put in the work and I deserve this because you can't be in an energy of expectation. It, it, it's literally telling the divine, okay, well, I did this. So now you have to give me this. The divine doesn't have to give you anything because the divine has already gave you everything. They have literally gave you the breath that is in your body. The divine is going, but the divine still loves you. The divine knows what is in your best interest because they can see far beyond what it is that you can see and they know what's good for you. And the divine is saying, I need you to trust me. If this person is not meant for you, then it, it, it's better that you move on. But if this person is meant for you, then give me the time to fix them so that they can be in the right mentality, that they can be in the right mindset, that they can be this home that you want to come to. Because right now, it doesn't look like it. Because right now, you know, with that Nine of Swords right there, you know, it, it the Nine of Swords is usually, some readers see it as the completion, you know, like as in the last final step before everything's completely done and they're, it's just over. You know, um, because even the swords in this, in the nine of swords, they're, they're all facing down, which is someone may have been, may have be in the mindset that I know how this is. And this is my final decision. You know, you could be in the loving mindset and they could be like, no, back up. And Spirit's literally telling you, you have to trust them. Maybe in the past, you know, there was, you may have came in with an energy of not being loyal. Or it may have appeared that way. Because you even have three angels there. Um... Then there was an awakening, either on your part or this other person's part. And either you or this other person, there is something that has went wrong or someone that has got sick or there was just bad that was done to this person or done to this connection. You know, maybe it has been damaged. Maybe it's you know, not got off, you know, and it, whether you end up together or not, God is, is trying to help cure what has went wrong, but you have to trust them. It will, it will be someone that comes in to teach you something. And a lot of times a karmic soulmate will come in and they will have you, you will go through an energy with this person and they will teach you something and then when you move on to the next you will remember the last person you know if it wasn't closed out because that person helped you learn that lesson and it does not mean go back to that person it means that that person was your karmic to teach you something and if you need to close something out if you need to heal old wounds then, well, one, this is retrograde. Of course, you're going to be pulled back to your past because it's retrograde. Even the, the healing angel here, the, yeah, the, the light, the light worker angel, um, is, is looking back and they're wanting to heal something, but that does not mean because you heal something that you're meant to be with that person. It just means you're being called to heal it so that you can move on from it. You can put it to rest because you probably have something. I keep feeling you've got something coming in. You just don't see it yet. There's something coming that's going to be beautiful. And maybe this person knows. This person may know you have something coming in. And ask yourself, 
you know, like, do you really need the healing from the past or has the healing from the past already taken place? And now there's a possibility that you could be blocked off from whatever it is. But if you're blocked from something or something is it moving forward, it's because that person's not supposed to move forward with you. They were supposed to be in the past and they were supposed to be where they are. Because if you hold on to the past, you will stay stuck in the past. And if you don't move forward, you will never move into your true energy. You know, if this person or you, whichever one it is that needed the healing uh, in your energy and to let go of things, you know, they have the ability to transform and they will come back like a completely new person and it won't be this energy. But right now, you guys have, if you're just now healing this, it's not there yet, is what I just heard. I don't know why. Yeah, see, look. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to the next step. Happiness awaits you. This does not say go back to the past. This says you have something coming for you. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So some of you guys, and I'm, I'm not hearing this for all of you guys, this is going to be someone who's been thinking about a past loved one that has moved on. Okay. Okay, so this is telling you, as I was saying, because it says keep charging ahead. So expect miraculous solutions to appear so there's things you don't see because it's in the darkness there the unicorn is again healing um that's the spirit animal of the healing um the spirit animal of the bird here that means to see something from a higher perspective um and this card here says i am leading you towards the answer to your prayers please listen to and follow the steps i am communicating through your intuition thoughts and dreams so literally spirit is telling you because look here look spirit is saying i'm leading you please follow me stay with me and stay safe because i'm going to take you through some dark areas because you're literally coming out of this darkness here i mean literally all these cards were dark and then here comes this angel that looks like this one so this could be your ancestors that have passed on that are coming to help guide you. Spirit is saying you are safe. That they are protecting you. And you're and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. Which is right below home. Okay. You got the magician here. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, Spirit is telling you, you know, you're at the area where it's time for you to start manifesting your dreams um, and your wishes. But to do that, you've got to know what it is that you want, what it is, you know, that you want to be guided to. Um, Okay, so you could be one of two things. You're either having new ideas or new hobbies or new things that you want to do or to accomplish or something like that. Or which I'm going which I'm highly, highly being told, especially since this is retrograde, you are seeing a truth of a situation. Maybe there was things that you didn't want to see because this emperor up here has his eyes closed. He doesn't, he didn't give a shit what anybody else wanted to say because he's like, 
I'm the emperor. You do what I want. You do what I say. This is going to happen how I say it's going to happen. And it's not going to happen any other way. And more than likely, if that's the energy that you are in, I hate to say it, you, you probably had a situation that probably could have turned good but you turned it into a missed opportunity because you were so shut off. But Spirit's saying, don't worry. They're still, they still have, you know, things that they can teach you to, to take you to something better. Because in all honesty, we, we have a path and we have things we must accomplish. Now we can accomplish these things with other people or certain people, you know, because you can have a twin flame and still marry a karmic because God gives us free will. Um, so in that, we still have the ability to have missed opportunities to not end up with the person that we're meant to. I'm not saying that you have, were with the person that you're meant to be with. I'm just saying there was someone who was good that you may have missed an opportunity with. Um, but spirit saying they're still going to teach you this lesson. If they are still currently in your life, they're still going to teach you what they were meant to teach you. I just heard even in there, even if they're silent, they're still teaching you. So listen to the silence and the silence is where you will find The faith that you need is what they just said. Because there's a part of you that doesn't trust. Some of you, there's a part of you that doesn't trust in the divine. You trust in self. Maybe you feel like because of things that have went wrong in the past, that you feel like you have to control everything because things went wrong in the past, but you don't realize in the past more than likely you used your free will and went against what the divine was telling you to do and you specifically got yourself in the energy now this could be you or the other person i'm, I'm feeling like it's you and I'm, I'm just no i'm a warning reader and so i will tell you exactly what i see um and i do that so i can help you find how it is that you heal your situation. It's not me being an ass. I just, you know, I have to tell you exactly the way that Spirit's saying it to me. Um, so Spirit's saying, you know, you may have in the past put all this stuff on them. Like they did this stuff to you, but it was you who chose your path in the, in the past. You did not trust in the divine. You were reckless. You were... You, you, you went for lust. You went for other things. You went for the 3D because you weren't listening to your 5D. You weren't listening to your intuition. You weren't listening to your guides. But now you've awakened. You're now seeing this from a higher perspective. Maybe now is now the time that you're starting to surrender. Going from this closed off person you know, because look, this emperor looks all bright. And then this little girl right here who's looking up and seeing the, the world around it and how beautiful it is. You know what? They're still both bright, beautiful creatures. You've just transformed. You've went from like, it's kind of like going from elementary school to middle school. You go from being the big fish in the, the little minnow pond and then you, you start out small again. Some of this, some of you guys may be still in a child mindset. If you're not still a child, if you, I mean, even adult males can still be in this energy. And I say that because it's the emperor. Um, females can be in that energy as well, but like spirits telling me males, a lot of times young men take a little bit longer, you know, because they, they know that if, if they look up, you know, they've got their parents there. Maybe some of these, some of you have stayed a child because you've relied so much on your parents. 
and you've not, you said you're the emperor, but you've still a child because you've not stepped into the role of being the man that, that you're supposed to be. And I'm not saying that to be a jerk, you know, I'm just telling you what I'm saying. The Spirit's telling you, they're, they're going to guide you. They're going to send you where you need to go. You know, they may, they, they're trying to guide you so that you can find your own footing, that you can be who you're meant to be. Yeah. So this is, this is saying in this current energy, there's, there's forgiveness somewhere, whether it's, you know, cause there, but two people are under this water here, which is emotions. And this is saying two people want forgiveness. And out of the forgiveness from this conflict, there can be, or out of this conflict, um, there will be resolution and there will be forgiveness. But that does not mean that you're supposed to be with them. They could just be leading you to them so that you can learn the true value of love. Like true, unconditional love, which means to forgive someone and, and know that you love them. But that does not mean that you have to be with them. Because true love does not say you have to be with me or I'm not going to love you. That's literally possession. That's control. That's possessiveness. And to love someone, you have to let them go. Literally, Spirit just said you have to let them go. You can't hold on to someone and say, I love you. It's literally like the theory of picking a flower and bringing it inside and putting it in a vase and say, you're going to be with me forever because I love you. Knowing that that flower is literally going to sit in that vase and die. If you love it, you're going to leave it alone. You're going to let it go. You're going to let it be what it needs to be, where it needs to be. And just be there to love it or nurture it or you know if you if you continue on this friendship path after this that's all up to you but spirit just said there's more than one more than one It literally says two. Of course, there's more than one. Okay, so um, you could have two people. There's two mermaids here. Capricorn, if this is you, if you were the emperor, if you were a masculine or a male, and you had to, and you had two females in your energy, this may be you confused. And finally having to ask for directions because you don't know which one is your person. The Spirit's telling you. They already told you. Like, I literally just heard, I already told you. I literally have already told you who your person is. Okay. Because look here, you've got the, the ocean. The deep blue sky sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing wound brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all the cares and concerns. Okay, I'm hearing this is a Capricorn who lives somewhere near the ocean or who has visited the ocean recently or who has been having a desire to go to the ocean. Yeah. This retrograde is literally bringing in a change. It's going to bring in, you know, understanding. It's going to bring in things that you needed to know, things that you needed to hear, things that, you know, you had to let go of something. It's kind of like, um, it's yeah, okay. The spirit is just put in my mind this. There's this video they've been going through TikTok or 
Facebook, I don't know, uh, one of those where, where the people are skydiving and they're sitting there and they're holding on to the airplane so that someone can record them. And they're sitting there and they're holding on and holding on and holding on and then eventually they let go and then they fall and their parachute opens and it's like they fly. Okay, so Spirit's telling you, it's time for you to let go. Literally, it's under this let go. This change is going to come once you let go. Let go and let God. Okay. You're being told in this current energy, if you have addictions, whether you are addicted to drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, um, eating unhealthy, you know, um, acting unhealthy, you know, like if you have sex addictions, if you have addictions to overworking for money, you know, Spirit's telling you, these addictions are literally what's blocking your heart, okay? And this is how you're going to heal what has happened in the past. You've got to release your addictions. Because Spirit just said, once you let go of something, I can give you something better. If you're sitting here holding on to these addictions of this world, Spirit can't give you what is meant to, for you in, this, in the 5D. What is meant for you in the spiritual realm the things that you're asking for because you can't ask God for something in the 5d to calm down if you're literally sitting there holding on to the 3d okay so spirits telling you coming soon you need to start watching what you eat um, you need to start watching the way that you act in relationships you know make sure your relationships are good for your soul they're not ones that you know bring you down they're not ones that make you feel like you have to control the situations they're not ones that make you feel bad they're not they're healthy for you they make you remember who you are and what you want because the the good relationships in your life won't force you to stop being who you are they will force you to remember who you are because when someone truly loves you, they're not going to stop you from being who you are. They're actually going to love you exactly for who you are, the way that you are, without change. They will love you unconditionally, whether you're nerdy or um, a, a big jock or a gym rat or a physical therapist or, you know, I don't know, everything in the world, I guess, you know? You know, whether you're a CEO at a company or whether you're working at McDonald's, your true person is going to love your soul. Your divinely guided counterpart will love your soul. They will love you. Even divinely guided counterparts and soulmates can still do that. However, karmics, not so much so. Karmics will try to force you. They will try to change you. They will try to make you forget who you are to become what they want you to become. And right now, this is the, that was the energy that you were standing in was the energy of a karmic. Now, everyone is always a karmic to someone in their life. Um... Whether you're a karmic to your parents, whether you're a karmic to a boyfriend or girlfriend, whether you're a karmic to a husband or a wife, and that just means you're supposed to be someone that comes in and hurts someone so that they change. And everyone always gives it a bad, karmic's a bad rap, which it kind of is, but it's, it, it, it's saying you're not where you're supposed to be, but... But those karmics help the divinely guided to remember who they are and they're needed. Okay, yeah. 
Spirit says the weight of the world. It says you need to set your boundaries. Okay? It says let it go. It's not yours to carry. Okay? So if something has happened in the past, if this is a good person, they've probably forgave you whether they want to be in your life or not. They probably have already forgave you. And Spirit's telling you, you have to come into the understanding of just because someone forgives you, it does not mean that they're meant that you're meant to be with them. It just means that they are in the mindset of gratitude and they forgive you, but they appreciate you for what you've done in their life. And that's the mindset you need to be in. Okay, so Spirit's telling you, take, take your time making these decisions. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relax as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, which means let go and let God. Allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So the situation literally, as I was saying earlier, you know, if this person was meant for you, they won't go nowhere. Um, or they will go away and they will come back when there is a change in their heart or in their life. But you can't control it. The more you control it, the, the, the longer it will... And I'm going to tell you this out of my own personal experience. When you try to control something, it can literally block you from your blessing. I, at one point, and I know that to get my person back, I have to do all this healing, right? Now, healing is a great thing. <laughs> But why were you doing it? And that is another part that you'll have to end up healing if you don't learn this now from me. So learn from my mistakes. We do all this healing and that's amazing and it's really good for us. But if we're literally healing for someone else, we still have not learned self-love. We still are in the lax mindset. We still are in the controlling mindset because, yeah, we want to heal all these things. And it is amazing to heal all these things. But we're literally stepping back into another toxic energy. Because if we are healing ourselves for someone else, that's not self-love. That's doing it out of control and doing it out of the need to have something happen the way that we want it to happen and not in God's um, not in the manner of unconditional love again back to the flower okay so spirits telling you if you let go and you let God in the future you will have your blessings. Okay? Because look, here is that same blonde angel. But they're telling you right now. It's going to take some time. You can't force it. And the more you try to force it, the longer it's going to take. Because the... The more you try to force it, you know, when you step back into another toxic energy, that's more stuff that you have to heal. You've got to get right with yourself. And why, how you do that is, you know, stepping into a spot where you are connecting with the divine. You know, maybe meditating, finding grounding, you know, praying, speaking to God. You know, um, I feel the closest when I talk to God through my cards. You know, because for the longest time, I was always like, well, I pray to God, but I won't see anything. You know, I, I don't know what the answer is. And I feel like I'm just fumbling around. And then God showed me. And then I got the cards. And then after the cards, I realized this whole time that I could have heard him in the first place. 
but I wasn't paying attention because I wasn't awakened to my path. I wasn't awakened to who I was supposed to be. I wasn't paying attention to my purpose because in my head, my purpose was my person and it's not. Even if you have a twin flame, and I'm not saying that this is your twin flame because I'm still not getting twin flame vibes. I'm getting soulmate and karmic. Um, even if that person is your twin flame, they do not come into your energy just so that you get this person. They literally come in so that you change. So that you awaken to your path, your purpose. And you, what is your path and your purpose? It's not another person. And this is the one thing the world has has to learn. And it's just something that I've had to learn recently. You know, you're, we all will get sad and we all will feel lonely. But our purpose is not our person. Our purpose is to learn the lessons here in the 3D. So that we can level up and be in a higher power in the 5D. You know, that's the whole reason for us to come here. That's the only reason for us to come here and deal with this hell on earth. I'm going to tell you right now, like, I am looking forward to the afterlife. I'm not looking for, I'm not excited about the here and the now. Even though I am, I am grateful for it and I'm so thankful to, that God gave me, you know, this 3D world or whatever, you know, so I could learn, so I could learn to love and I could love, you know, especially like my kids, you know, I'm grateful for it, but that's not what the purpose is. The purpose is, is to build up your blessings in heaven, you know, um, okay, I keep being, I keep hearing this song. Well, one year I was working with my uncle up in Ohio, you know, I went up north and we were um, scraping the paint off of my grandmother's house so that it could get a fresh new paint, you know, so it can restore it. And my uncle had played this song and it was, I believe the guy's name, uh, the guy's name was Elijah. Elijah something. I can't remember the last name. I just remember his first name because it's the name of my, my son, my, my baby. So, but the song talks about, you know, sending up lumber into heaven, you know, here on earth, we earn our lumber, you know, when we get to heaven, how much lumber are we going to send up? Are we going to send enough to build a shack? Are we going to send up enough to build a mansion? You know, because God says he goes to repair a place for us, but we got to send him the, the, um, the, the lumber and everything here by our works. We earn our place in heaven here. And so it, it's kind of like, you know, we earn our spot in heaven by the things that we do here, by the way that we love, by the way that we learn by the things that we do and by the way that we treat people. And if you're treating anybody bad, then this is literally spirit coming in to protect you or to protect the other person. Take it as it resonates. I'm not saying that you're awful. I'm just saying that someone here, one of these people, because I still feel like there's multiple people here. I keep hearing two more. Um, one of these people is literally being protected from this energy of controlling. Like spirits like stay away from them. Like whoever this other person is, they are very intuitive. Like literally I keep hearing spirit talks to them. Spirit tells them what they need to know. I just heard it. one person has light hair. Okay, so there might there might be three people in the mix, but only one person has light hair. That's, that may be who is the one with light hair, maybe the one who is in, intuitive and the one who hears. 
yeah, the one who is divinely guided. Um, so yeah, so someone here right now is being protected from this toxic energy, whether it's you, if you're the one that has light hair or the other person, someone here has light hair. Yeah. Cause look, there's three, there's three here in the last cards. Capricorn, this turns out good. I'm going to tell you right now. This turns out good, what they just told me. Okay, so take the time to look inside yourself and make the decision. Both of these, look inside yourself. Take your time to make the decision. Look inside yourself. Okay? Because look, this is your very last card. This is your sums up. This is, you know, God telling you you know, how you're going to understand how the situation needs to play out, how it's going to unfold. Once you realize you're not in charge, that God is in charge. Look, we literally start from you being in this energy here of you saying that you know, but even when you look at this now, if you, the way that I look at it, Here's the humans down here on earth, and here's God up above. God is in control. We're not. God is in charge. And once you let go and you let God, you learn that lesson, and you get over the toxic energy or who, or the other person, you know, take it as it resonates, whichever side, flip as needed. It says, Dear God, please help me let go of this situation giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. And I keep hearing when you let go and you let God, they're going to bring someone in to protect you and your person. There could be a child in the mix. Whether you have the child or you will have a child with someone else or they have a child. There will be a child in the mix. The Spirit says, just said, not only are they protecting you, not only are they protecting the other person, but they are also protecting this child. Because that is one of the big things that I always pull. Protect the child, protect the child, protect the child, protect the child. You know, even my guardian angels, you know, that I passed on, the ones that were here, you know, I've heard them say, protect the child, multiple times. One, I was told, literally passed on so we could protect a child that was in the 5D trying to get here. And if he didn't come to help this child in the 5D, it wouldn't have made it here. So spirit, spirit loves their, oh gosh, I just literally heard God loves the little children. Because look at, look at, you've got a child here, you've got a child here, you've got these children here. And they're all here in the future. You even have the child here. It's coming up. As soon as you learn to let go. The sign from above. Look. Even this card of the sign from above. It looks like she's got this beautiful delicate rose right here. This flower as I've just said a million times. This flower. She's giving it to God. This is something that she loved, that she wanted to control. But she let it go because she's letting it go up to God. Spirit just said, don't be afraid to step into your emotions. 
It's when you step into your emotions, when you honor how you feel, when you honor what it is that you want, when it, when you honor the things that you deserve, that you feel you deserve. Um, that's when you will get it. Spirit literally just said, you have not because you ask not. In other words, you need to pray. You need to send this up to God, this thing that you want. Don't do, don't do it by trying to control it. Let go and let God. All right, Capricorn. Um, hopefully this is still recording. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, that would have been so bad. That's happened to me so many times.